you feel like like something something was within within your grasp grasp and it's it's slipped slipped down. down. Here comes Obiena then. His third and final attempt. Very nice. Yes. Yes. As soon as he took off, I knew knew it was on. We very, need a compilation of your gasps, though, I think, this <laughs> one, Holly, because I mean, you can see the bar wobbling there. But, yeah, talk us through why that was so so clear, so good. Yeah, R- great run and take off. He's been, he's been very, very consistent with his run and take off all day, but it's really been that swing, and you can see there, he holds on to the pole all the way, so all of that energy he's stored has gone into him, and that's totally made the difference because now he's popped over the bar. On all the other attempts, we saw the pole wiggling and bouncing about, and that was purely because before he was letting go too early on the yeah, bar, yeah. On, the, on the pole, sorry. Yeah, and he's probably gone back to his coach. He's told him, you can see him jumping about. <laughs> That's a national record for the Philippines. Wow, amazing. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal there. National record for Obiano, the Philippines. And a, look at that, a nice congratulations there. They know what it means. Yeah. The thing is with Mondo, he is a pole vault fanatic. He mm. loves the event. So seeing people do well, he absolutely loves that. Well, we're down to three now, then. I mean, you're... Three people over 5.91. Yeah. That doesn't happen very often. That's amazing. I was going to say, you're used to this uh, this national record. What is it like for you holding the national record, holding both national records, indoor and outdoor? Is it is it a, a, something of, of pride that you hold on to? Are you secretly...